Caught my girlfriend asking another man CCK and it hurt so much. Important announcement. Before we begin with today's stories, I have some bad news. Sadly, I have to inform you that this channel has been demonetized because of sexual content. Because of production costs, I'm going to stop posting videos on this channel in a few days. If you enjoyed my content, I have a second channel where I'll continue posting daily videos. Highly recommend checking it out, link to my new channel is in the description. Thank you for your support so far and the support you're providing to the community in the comments. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Sorry if the title is too eplicit but I have no time for beal shit. I'm going to keep using eplicit language so if this upsets you, don't read. My girlfriend of 4 years is a really really pretty woman and she's also a very caring person. Her parents are also good people, and she hangs out with good people. I find that people you choose to associate with is a reflection of yourself and I use this metric every time, I find she's just a very lovely person. This morning I walked in on her asking another man CCK and my heart just wanted to stop. Like, I couldn't believe she was doing that to me, what hurt me the most is that she was just loving it. And the man she was having s time with knows who I am and knows that she's my girlfriend, yet he chose to duck her mouth and ruin my relationship and his excuse was your girlfriend is very attractive. While it's my girlfriend's fault, he contributed to that. Sometimes people can be so cruel. I don't know if I want to give her another chance because seeing how much she was liking it really destroyed my heart. Update, I want to give her another chance. I have never been a loser when it comes to dating and I've always had my good share of attention from women, desperation and s time aren't the reasons why I'm going to stay. I just like her, she has done so much for me over the years, she actually did the approaching, she was humble enough to buy me a drink just to talk to me. I can't believe everything she has done was fake. I want to believe it was just a mistake. I'll make it clear that it will take time for her to gain my trust again, she's asking me to stay and forgive her. I blocked her WhatsApp number before, she sent me an actual SMS begging me to unblock her and cried on the phone. Update 2, I was about to forgive her on WhatsApp but at the very last moment I just decided to say hun you ain't all that, I'll find someone else, you can cry all you want. It made me feel so powerful and I don't regret it. It's officially over. Update 3, Reddit really has a problem with women and it's so sad. I still think she's a very good person, you don't know her, it's no masquerade. It's over and she does not deserve another chance but I still don't want to call her a bad person because of what she did. Update 4, An objectively attractive woman bought me a drink, courted me, chased me, I dumped her as soon as I caught her cheating but I'm still being called a loser and a simp and a beta male for simply saying she's a kind person she is. Geez, being unnecessarily aggressive doesn't make you alpha, if anything I should be praised for staying calm and cold in a very difficult circumstance. Redditor's reaction story 2 after. Redditor 1, you walked in on your GF happily blowing some dude and you still considered giving her another chance? Redditor follow up. Op was at the house apartment and she didn't even care enough to try and do it behind his back or keep it a secret. Duck this chick, doesn't even care anymore. Reminds me of the dude's wife in Boogie Nights who kept binging that dude in front of him. Redditor 2, personally, I would be done with her. How much can she really care for you doing something like this behind your back? My trust in her would be gone and nothing good would come from remaining in that. Redditor 3, Caught my girlfriend asking another man CCK and it hurt so much. She probably shouldn't use her teeth. Redditor 4, it never gets better, brother. If you let it slide all she sees is a green light to keep cheating. Redditor follow up, I wouldn't really say that's the case all the time for cheating situations. But people who do cheat are 40% more likely to cheat again I believe. I could be wrong though. However in op situation, seeing it firsthand. Yeah there's no coming back from that. Redditor 5, life is short and it's a small world with plenty of women. Move on. You'll never get that image out of your head dude. Redditor follow up, this is really all it's about. There can be many mitigating circumstances to affairs. But 4 years then walking in on that? He'll never be able to heal from it and it's pointless even if she suddenly turned into an angel. Story 2, cheating on your spouse is complete bullshit. 
Just came up to one of my co-workers who I saw had Google Maps pulled up on his PC with pins all along the North Shore Minnesota. Going on a trip? He showed me the ring missing on his finger. No, his wife of 8 years had been cheating on him the last 9 months, earlier this year. In reference to another co-worker, I told him you can't change the way people are. He told me that sentence stuck in his mind ever since and he realized, once a cheater, always a cheater. He moved out and his ex is buying him out of their her house and they're filing papers. Now in an attempt to feel better he's going on a trip with his dog in what was the family jeep. This guy is a star, excellent communicator, has his ass it together and friends with everyone, always extremely thoughtful and rational, and rides a sport bike because why not? This is not the guy you'd expect to be cheated on, he did everything right. I could tell the last month he wasn't excited about anything like he used to be. Now I know why. Bad things happen to good people. Duck cheaters. And if you're cheating on your spouse, you owe it to them to see yourself write the duck out. Edit, we've been reading all the comments. Thank God they didn't have any kids together. Cheating is 100% becoming too normalized. Redditor's reaction story 3 after. Redditor 1, yeah man. Whenever I see a meme or a joke that kind of makes light of cheating in some way, I can never find it funny. It just hits me hard. Redditor 2, I broke my back when I was 20 and it left me paralyzed from the mid-rib cage, down. My girlfriend refused to leave me even though I told her I thought it was best for both of us, as my life had just changed so drastically in the blink of an eye and I knew I had a long road ahead. She would not hear it and refused to leave, three months later I am discharged from rehab after spinal surgery and teaching myself how to operate life in a wheelchair, blah blah blah. Three years later we get married, have a big beautiful wedding, the whole nine. Three years into our marriage she says she's going to stay with a friend for a while and never comes back, I thought she was not happy with her decision and had grown tired of being with a disabled person. Totally understandable. In reality she had been cheating on me with my best man and they had taken a trip backpacking around Europe together as I was moving not only all of my belongings into a new apartment I had arranged for the both of us, but also all of her stuff into a storage facility she could access later because as I said before she literally never came back. What can you do lol? Redditor 3, I know someone who is cheating with a married man. She began cheating with him while she was in a relationship with her fiancé, in a beautiful home, with their two kids. She blames her ex-fiancé because she said if she wasn't efforts to get a job and contribute she never would have met the guy she's cheating with. Which is beal shit because this wasn't the first time she cheated on her ex with someone who was married. To make matters even worse, the married man she's cheating with has a beautiful wife and she just gave birth to their third son not too long ago. When this girl asked him how his wife got pregnant they've been having this affair since before his wife got pregnant he told her some beal shit story about how he slept with his wife one time when him and the girl he's cheating with were arguing. This girl keeps giving him ultimatums saying he better choose between her and his wife soon or she's done she's super crass too, saying things like he needs to choose which PY is better but she's been giving him ultimatums for months and he's still with his wife. This girl is honestly so disgusting, she told me that he bangs her in her garage on the floor and then leaves and goes home to his wife. She constantly brags about how his wife is suspicious of her and thinks she checks out her Instagram all the time. She also brags about how his wife keeps finding her hair all over his clothes not to mention the Instagram posts of if you're dating me you have to accept the fact that my hair is going to be all over your stuff posts. It's honestly so disgusting. I wish I knew the guy's wife, because I would tell her in a heartbeat about what's going on. Nobody deserves that. Redditor follow up, that is so incredibly toxic, it makes me feel much better about my own circumstances holy crap. Redditor 4. This is not the guy you'd expect to be cheated on, he did everything right. Cheating is rarely about the person being cheated on, but about the cheater. Redditor follow up, but somehow the cheaters will try to make it seem like that's not the case. Cheaters are cowards, if they weren't they'd have the guts to either solve their relationship issues or end it before going elsewhere. Cowardice combined with selfishness. Story 3, moved 2600 miles for my GF, she cheated on my 4 months later. For some background info. Me and my ex had met when we were in high school, 
Seven months after started dating I had to move across the country because of my dad's job. We did two years of long distance and it was hell. But we got through it, and I thought we'd weather the storm and we'd be okay. I truly did love this girl. So last year I moved back to where she was and was living with her and her family for a few months to start building a life for me and her. Was working 60-70 hour weeks. Busting my ass to start a future for me and her. Anyway the first couple months of me being there were great and I was the happiest I ever was. Getting to see her all the time and seeing my best friends again. Then one night I get home from work and we get intimate. I didn't force her but definitely tried to charm her into it do the things she liked to get her to which looking back on it should have left it alone regardless. A couple weeks go by and she became somewhat distant. I ask her what's wrong and she says that what happened the night a couple weeks prior bothered her. I apologized and truly did feel bad and told her that won't happen again. Then two weeks after that she claims I are at pet her. And she made me say it with my own mouth so I understood what I did. I shouldn't have said it looking back on it and it was clearly manipulation for her longer plan. After that I thought we sort of reconciled and things were better-ish. Anyway she breaks up with me about a month after that because I are at pet her. She broke up with me over text. That night I talked, to her mom about what happened and confessed everything I thought at the very least I should try to do the right thing and make things right at this point I am shattered my gf of 3 years broke up with me and had me convinced it's my fault when it wasn't I get kicked out and had to live with my buddy's parent for a month the guilt following was overwhelming her mom making me feel guiltier because we were still in contact and I was consumed by the guilt of what I did and losing the girl I loved about 2 and a half weeks after the breakup I almost took my own life which I most definitely regret regretted I had awful nightmares, it was impossible to eat, I couldn't focus at work, and the guilt and pain was a mental hell I couldn't take it anymore but I ultimately decided not to later that day I found out from one of my best friends who still went to school with her that she had actually cheated on my and slept with a few guys shortly after she ended things with me and that's when it dawned on all my friends and people I was close with this was all a setup so she could go duck other guys after that I decided I was getting the hell out of town and moved back to my parents across the country not even a week later I blocked her on all social media and deleted her contact on my phone even after she broke things off she was trying to get a reaction out of me to make me angry to get me to act she was talking s it about me to everyone she knew posting about on social media even some her friends were taking pictures of me out in public without my knowledge but i never retaliated not once and it was the best decision i made during the breakup later down the road i find out she had been caught with a new guy at her school with where have dollar x in her car while we're still dating and after the breakup continues to sleep around like there is no tomorrow anyway progressively her story began to fall apart and no one was believing her anymore as a lot of the people that she goes to school with I am also friends with and figured out I'd never do something like that to her and other details as well her going around bragging about sleeping with guys right after she broke up with me I wish I was kidding when I say this she apparently told her best friend that she broke up with me because she wanted new dick anyway she lost a lot of friends and almost no one believes her now everything she ever gave me I either donated, trashed, or burned. I never want her to speak to me again contact me and I never want to see her face again it's been a few months and I'm much better now I got back in the gym and put on quite a lot of muscle and I'm happy again and I've found peace in being single trusted God would help me and take care of me, which he did I know it's hard guys, but it does get better. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, you poor guy. Not only what she did to you through manipulation but she also contributed to not believing people who actually are a pet. You mentioned school? High school or college? Redditor 2, shit man, reminds me of the long distance relationship I had. Similar thing happened she refused to get intimate with me and I have a pretty high libido so it drove me up the wall. I've pieced it together over the years but I'm almost 100% sure she cheated on me. It aches my heart just think and say it out loud but I've been in a two year long relationship now with somebody who affords me the love and respect I deserve. Things do get better and by the sounds of it they have for you too. I met my GF on Tinder. When you're ready I'd recommend downloading it and getting yourself out there. Just gotta sift through all the bad ones to find the good one. Chin up soldier. Remember to check out my new channels. Link in the description. Have a nice day.